Minnesota Fighting Vikings and superstar edge rusher Daniil Hunter are at a crossroads. Like, it hasn't gone full-on nuclear yet. Daniil Hunter, who I'm sure would like a freshening up of his contract closer to market value, maybe not up in the stratosphere of $25 million a year like Joey Bosa or Miles Garrett, but, you know, better than 14-4. Can we do a little bit better than that? Daniil Hunter suffered from, unfortunately, signing his deal a little bit early as well as a five-year extension. Vikings have his rights for the next three years, and we've heard both sides. Uh, Chad Graff, the elect. Oh, Daniil's unhappy, and he's going to go to the Mac, going to go nuclear. Oh, and then PA. Uh, um, Daniil Hunter is fully happy and nothing to see here. Everyone move on. Okay, it, it is somewhere in between. All right, and Pro Football Focus decided to just dip their toe into the water, uh, just all nonchalantly. So Anthony Triash, uh, the analyst over there, did up a team needs after free agency, and he wrote about the Vikings that their number one need is still edge rusher. And here's what he wrote, quote, Minnesota's set of edge defenders in 2020 ranked fifth to last amongst the 32 teams in pass rush grade generated. Sure, this may have been without Daniel Hunter, who was hurt in 2020 and a top 10 graded player at the position in 2019, uh, but he's now looking for a trade and unlikely to play another down for the Vikings. Woo! Man, that is adding kerosene to just some smoldering embers and just watching it go up like that. So now I'm under no illusion that Anthony Trash has uh, like inside knowledge of what's going on with Daniel Hunter or maybe his agent, but maybe I'm selling him short. Maybe him and Daniel Hunter, I don't know, maybe they went to high school. Maybe they go uh, way back like chiropractic. I don't know, but I think that's pretty unlikely. And as we've said, whenever there's negotiations, whenever there's noise, things are not going well. Whenever there's silence, things are going well because that means that neither side is trying to provoke the other into action. So I think since it's quiet right now, after that dust up of a couple weeks ago of the Chad Graff piece and then last week with PA, I think that things are progressing extremely well. And the Vikings are freeing up cap for something, whether it's one more big free agent piece or potentially slapping a big time extension down uh, for Daniil Hunter, bringing his average up to say 20 million per year given the Vikings plenty of injury uh, guarantees and clauses and outs to make sure that if he's the Neil Hunter of old he's properly compensated happy and ready to tear up the lead because I mean the Vikings suffered last year well like Triash talked about the Vikings uh, pass rush last year especially on the edge was absolute straight up booty and let's not sleep on Daniil Hunter's contribution in the rum uh, defense game as well setting the edge and I know some Vikings fans are like ah, he got paid for doing nothing last year Bulloni he was practicing to play football off your team and for your entertainment so yeah cut the guy some slack he is revved up ready to go he's pissed off for greatness he's he's going to be a future first ballot hall of famer don't let him go unless you get like 17 first round picks like we're, we're talking about hey why would you let a player that you already know is good go for a couple of raffle tickets that ah hopefully he'll be as good as daniel hunter no you have a prime future hall of fame edge rusher who's a team first player, plays the run, and just gets after it. His 88 pressures in 2019 would have led the league this year. His 14 and a half sacks in 2019 would have been second in the league only to TJ. Wow. So do not let him go. Make him happy. And remember, the Vikings do have leverage in this spot. And if they want a big foot Daniil Hunter, they can. They can fully take this thing to the mat, except I don't think they will. I think that sends a very bad message to the rest of the team, the rest of the locker room, and even to the fan base as they just squish uh, one of the fan favorites. So I think cooler heads will prevail. Silence right now I think is good. I think they will work out something that is equitable. And maybe there's a wink, nudge, a handshake, under the table agreement. Hopefully it's not on a cocktail napkin a la Joe Smith of, hey, soon as we get Kyle Rudolph's $7.9 million cap after June 1st, we'll sign our draft picks and everything else. We'll, we'll make sure and structure it that you're going to be freshened up, Daniil. We'll give you a one or two year uh, extension get you to 18, 19, 20 million dollars per year average and we're good to go. And Daniil Hunter back ready to prove that he's still that guy, youngest of 50 sacks, or continue that chase after Bruce Smith 200. Let's go. Let's go because I do not want another Stefan Diggs situation. I do not want another extremely talented player getting out of town even though it did work out pretty well with Justin Jefferson, I'm not going to lie. But is lightning going to strike twice? It like will the Vikings get uh trade Daniil Hunter and then Quiddy Pay all of a sudden becomes a top 5 edge rusher? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not ready to tempt fate. Make Daniil happy. is a big part of this defense. Him and Barr, him and Kendricks, uh, they are the tight nucleus uh, of this team. So let's keep this thing in-house. Could you could, cause, could you imagine this defensive line, left to right, Daniil, Tomlinson, Michael Pierce, uh, rookie TBD, or Wanham, or Weatherly. Let's go hunt. 
Uh, let's be pissed off for greatness. Let's get after this thing. The Zimmer Hellfire defense is out for revenge because, hey, we, we took notes. We remember everyone who pissed on this defense last year, which was a lot of people, myself included. I mean, let, let's be real. But now, return. Be a top five unit. Daniil, return to be one of the best edge rushers in the game, if not the best, and just get after it. But, again, make him happy. I, I think cooler heads will prevail. I think they'll work something out. I think there will be a compromise on both sides, and everyone's going to be happy. So let's go. Let's get this damn thing going. And I'm unlikely to play another down, please. I'll bet against that if he wants to lay down some dough. Come on. Come on. Uh, beer thoughts. PFF. Daniel Hunter unlikely to play another down for the Vikings. Baloney. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Post something to Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.